Slack surveys are notoriously limited. You often respond with emojis, there's only a single question, there's not a whole lot of personalization that you can do. So in this video, I'll show you how you can build multi-step Slack surveys with personalization delivered directly within your Slack community in less than 10 minutes. Check it out. Hi, I'm Chris Smith with Common Room, and Common Room is a software platform that allows you to manage all of the different touch points you have with your customers and prospects across different community platforms like Slack and Discord and GitHub and LinkedIn, and Twitter, and all of these other different places where people are interacting with your brand, they're maybe starting to explore your different solutions or offerings. And one thing that Common Room can do is it help you build multi-step Slack surveys so you can start to survey and engage where your community is at. And in this video, I'll just show you how to build that in about six or seven minutes here. So let's dive right in. The first thing you'll do after setting up an account is choose the sources where your users are engaging. So in this case, I'll set up a Slack integration and grant it privileges so that it can access my own personal Slack account. Next, I'll click through a couple of confirmation dialogues and Common Room will now start ingesting data from my Slack instance. And once this is saved, I can see the indicator on the left-hand side showing me that Common Room is importing data from Slack. And next I can go to the sources pane and add all of the different sources where my users are interacting with my brand. Since we're mainly focused on Slack in this video, I'll jump into another account with Slack as well as a number of other sources connected. Once you've connected some sources, you can go to the members pane where you'll find a list of all of the members across all of your different community touch points. Scrolling down the members list, you can see which touch points that Common Room has been able to identify for each user. Now that we have our Slack data in Common Room, we want to narrow down to our specific target audience for our survey. From the members view, select add filter, and we want to add people who are at an organization between 50 and 200 people, and who are in roles which fit under the titles for marketing, sales, and customer service. And lastly, we want to narrow this down a little bit more to people who have logged into the product in the last 30 days at least one time. And with that, we've narrowed down our target audience to 77 people from around 20,000. So the next step is to tag these members as our product market fit group so that whenever we set up our Slack survey, the workflow knows to apply that survey to these specific users. So to do this, click the empty checkbox on the left-hand side, select all members in the list, and then you'll see that you have the option to send this group a Slack message, add them to an outreach sequence or a segment, or tag them. So here we want to add a tag called product market fit survey. And now all of these members will have the tags so that we can set up a workflow to send them a survey. To start setting up your workflow, click on the workflows icon on the left hand menu. Then you'll see a number of different sample workflows that you could set up. Click on the new workflow button and you'll find the button for surveying a cohort of Slack members. And this takes us into the workflow diagram where we can see that this workflow will run daily at 10 a.m. And it checks if a member satisfies certain criteria. So we're going to set up a member tag filter that will look and see if the member has the product market fit survey tag. Then it moves to the next step, which is checking to see if you want to send the message during working hours or not. You can add some working hours here so that you're being respectful of your member's time or turn it off to send it at any hour. And now we're ready to start building our Slack survey. So I'll select that I want to send this from my Slack account. And then I'll set up a question where I can at mention the person, set up whatever custom message I want, and then ask them if they wouldn't mind taking this two minute survey. Next, I'll set up the multi select question and ask the user how they'd feel if they could no longer use our product and set up the different options that I want them to have. Once you save this multi select survey question, you can zoom out on the diagram and see that there's different branches for each of the survey options. This allows you to send custom messages or tag the user to a specific user segment. 
Let's disable each of these specific branches for now so that we can set up a second survey question. This time, I'll specify a single select survey question, asking the user to select a specific option, for instance, which persona they think our product most applies to. And once we save this question, we can then customize the survey further, adding additional questions, or just send a specific message to this person, ending the survey, and say, offering them a Starbucks gift card. You'll also notice there's an option to send a test message in this message field. So if you click this, you can then jump into your Slack instance and see what the message looks like coming from Common Room. Looking good. So let's save this message and then save our workflow, turning it on. And we'll see that we end up at a dashboard which has all of our survey questions and specific tags for each of the answers. As our survey answers start coming in from different members, we'll be able to filter them based on these specific tags in this dashboard. So let's give our survey a test run. I've added myself to this product market fit group and I can see that I received the survey message, which I can then click to choose my survey options, clicking some random option here, confirming that. And once the survey response is logged, it will send me the next question, which I can then choose from the dropdown and see that the survey response was recorded and then receive the concluding message. Looking good. To conclude this video, let's take a look at a dashboard for a survey that already has a bunch of responses. Here we can see the number of people enrolled, as well as tags for each of the individual question answer options. If you select one of these tags, it will filter the list down to only the people who answered with that option. And from here you can see that you can select all of the members who have answered the survey in this way and choose to send them another message or add them to some sort of specific email sequence or a segment that you can track their activity over time. There are a lot of different options here for how you can apply this, but I hope this gives you a broad overview of how this works. Thanks so much for watching and feel free to leave a comment below and join our Uncommon community at commonroom.io forward slash uncommon. <laughs>